Greetings, friends and Robloxians. Thanks for watching a Little Kingdom production. Lots of people are asking what's the best steel farm design. They also ask how I got all my coin. In part, that's due to my steel farm. I don't claim to have the best steel farm, but it actually might be. It's definitely the most optimized design I have ever been able to come up with. I made a video on the mega huge steel factory back in March 2021. Since then, this factory has been updated in a couple of ways that greatly improve the efficiency and output over time, and I wanted to share that with you. This build consists of one smelter feeding four steel mills. You can scale this up, but be careful with lag. Check out the blueprint here for the exact specifications on how to place the equipment. This blueprint will also be posted in the Little Kingdom Discord, and there's a link to that in this video's description. The original design was conceived by DV as far as I know. I saw his video on setting up an optimized steel factory shortly after the factory update, and that's how I originally designed my mega huge steel factory. But since then, I have found that the equipment gets really backed up with iron and coal if totems are not used more sparingly. I see steel farms all the time where people are using what I consider to be way too many totems. At the start of this build, I have a coal totem that powers this smelter. The coal totem will have a conveyor on the opposite side. The purpose of this is to keep half the coal from going into the smelter. The coal totem puts out more coal than one smelter can consume, and over time, it will clog the input of that smelter. I've seen it happen many times. You only need two iron totems on one smelter feeding four steel mills. I do upgrade the iron totem's quality to increase the output approximately 25 to 50 percent, and that generally keeps the smelters busy, but not clogging them up with iron that just sits idle. A smelter powered by coal can produce three ingots at a time, approximately every 10 seconds. A still mill powered by coal produces one ingot approximately every 20 seconds. The goal here is to try to have a balance where the machines are not getting all backed up having a ton of ore and ingots sitting idly on your island creating lag. For the same reason, I put a coal totem before the randomizers on each side that feed the steel mills. In total, each level of a steel factory will have only two iron totems and three coal totems. After the first randomizer that's in line with the smelter, I have put two input-output chests. Now pay attention as this is very important. Fill the first slot of the chest with iron ingots, and then fill the rest of the slots with whatever you want. I use iron ore because I produce millions of it every day on a cry iron farm. The chest will pass through it only the items that are in the first slot. This is not a perfect system, but for me it has produced the most amount of steel over many hours before it lags and slows down. The mega huge steel factory was 10 levels of steel factory, but is now 8 levels. I shrunk it to try to find that balance where it produces the most amount of steel over the longest period of time before lagging. Altogether, the mega huge steel factory with its 8 levels has 8 smelters, 32 steel mills, and 40 total totems. After observing several tests, the mega huge steel factory produces approximately 1,000 steel ingots an hour, but less and less the longer I leave it on. After a night of AFK farming, it produces considerably less. The two steel mills that are furthest from the smelter do overall produce a bit less, and I suspect that might be due to moments of occasional system lag as the iron has to travel through two input chests and over a few more conveyors. I have seen some people in the chat they say they're using six steel mills per one smelter. I even read one player that said they use eight. I've seen many videos of people who claim to have the best steel factories, and I tell you some of them are very impressive. I did try an eight steel mill layout. It is as balanced as can be using randomizers. After observing this setup for some time, I do find that a couple of the mills will sit idle while they're not getting any iron. Again, I noticed that the mills that are closer to the smelter get more iron. 
but this setup with only one level never gets backed up with ore and ingots. If you made it this far into the video, thank you! Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already, and as a thank you, I will give you 1000 steel ingots. Just message me in Discord to claim your prize and we'll set up a time to meet. I would also love to see your builds. Let us know if you have a steel farm and what design you think is best for you. Thanks again for watching, and remember, have fun and keep it imaginary.